and uh, the Canadian Coast Guard showed up. The Canadian Coast Guard showed up at your boat? Yeah, they were monitoring the race, and they were like, hey, um, you're not going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want us to tow you over? And, you know, if they had towed me, I would have been disqualified. And I was like, no, 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 I'd really rather not. I'll make for San Juan Island. And I kind of pointed. And just the, the part that I pointed at was just sheer cliff with a <laughs> with waves smashing into it and rocks everywhere and they were like what and i was like yeah i'll just i'll head that way and they're like all right we'll be around if you need us and i think they gave me their phone number cuz i don't remember having to call them over the radio just that was my big thing the guy gives you a cell phone number the canadian coast guard's like all right buddy listen this is yeah. my personal cell all right son just give the call as soon as <laughs> was, you will need this. It was 100% a heart to heart of like, hey, when you realize the situation you're in, just give us a call, you know? And I was like, all right, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> and also, you know, I'm in the Coast Guard, not that far away from this area. So I know that if I'm over the radio, like, hey, can you come get me? Like, they're going to hear it. And I don't want that, right? They've just uh, granted me approval. It was Wait, about did five you, sorry, hours. Did, did you tell the Canadian Coast Guard you were American Coast Guard? Not yet. So it was about another hour. It was about five hours total of, of rowing, of being stuck in these currents. Enough that the currents switched at one point and I still, I couldn't get out of it. I had the sail back up and I was just slowly getting carried further and further north away from where I was trying to get to in Victoria. So the sun was fully down. Anyways, at one point I talked to my dad on the phone and he was like, hey, what are you doing? Like, just get to land because they'd been watching me go in circles. So I called the guy's cell phone. And he was like, yeah, we're right next to you. And they were. They were, like, around the corner, basically, waiting. It wasn't just me, too. They had gotten, like I said, 15 boats that day. And they were like, yeah, we'll tow you in. So, all right, great, thank you. I get into their boat, tie off, tie off my boat to theirs, and they take off. And the first thing that happens is that their boats wake fills my boat and sinks it, right? So it sinks it inside with while it's still tied and all my gear is on these floating bags like floating up. So I j jumped off of their boat into my boat to start cutting the gear free so I could get it. And they're freaking out like, hey, you gotta get back in, you gotta get back in. But I'm just so out of it at this point. It's been a long day and I've been, haven't been eating or drinking water. So I'm like, oh, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And they kind of drag me back into their boat and they let me, they like, let me feel important they put me in front of the radar and they're like hey because i told them at this point i was in the coast guard because they were going to call sito and they said um yeah we'll, we'll call sito for you and get you in and i was like man it's going to cost money and so what's, they what's sito sito is commercial rescue basically like it's mm -hmm. not rescue but it's like okay you need to get towed in you can pay for it yeah. um and so they started saying everything over the radio and i was like hey 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 you don't need, don't do that over the radio. And they were like, why? And I was like, my work's listening. I don't want, they'll know. And they were like, what? And I told them, you know, and they pieced it together. And uh, they're like, oh, all right, we'll tell you in professional courtesy. I was like, yeah, you don't need to do that. And they're like, no, no, no. And they, they did. And uh, so, yeah, Wait, they you, said you, they want. You kind of, you breezed over the, the point where you, you were done. Like, what, what happened? What made you get to the point where you're like, all right, throwing in the towel.